Hello and welcome back to Gub Farm. I'm going to plant two rowan trees. I bought them about two months ago and I keep forgetting to water them. So if I don't get them in the ground soon, they're probably gonna die. So the plan was to leave it to the depths of winter and then plant them. But I'm just gonna do it now, it's, uh, it's mid-September. So the first task is I'm going to make up some root dip and get the trees soaking in it. In this case I'm using Symbio Microforce Whip Dip. So basically it's an endoexo mycorrhizal with microbes, minerals and trace elements. I used this when I planted the first batch of hazelnut trees and um, they took well so it looks like it's good stuff. Research suggests that rowing trees primarily establish symbiotic relationships with a buscular endomycorrhizal and to a lesser extent ectomycorrhizal. The same paper suggests that inoculations had the greatest impact when trees were planted in low fertility soil conditions with significant height increases and greater cold tolerance observed. I'm just going to mix it up in one bucket and then I will distribute the mix between, between the two buckets. Okay, do. I'm going to loosen off some of the soil around the roots and just set the trees into this while I dig the holes. I'm breaking out the roots for two reasons. Firstly, to establish directional growth into the soil where the trees would be planted. And secondly, to expose the roots to their fungi inoculation in the root dip. You don't have to worry about damaging the root. Just focus on exposing as many roots as you can and remember to capture the soil to reuse during planting as it probably contains beneficial fungi. I'm going to put them either side of the driveway. So let's get let's start digging. I don't agree with digging big holes for trees because all you're doing is breaking up the soil, introducing bacteria. So I'm of the view the minimum disturbance possible to the soil. So I'm just adding the fungi infused topsoil in around it. So again, I'm adding some compost, very well rotted compost. Again, adding organic matter, adding microbes. So with any plant, you just put the soil up to the level it was at in the plant pot, or if you get bare root, you'll see the soil mark on the tree trunk. So do not go beyond that. Just gently press round it, firm it up. These pot bound trees do not have the root infrastructure to support themselves, so I'm going to use tree ties. If I was planting young bare root trees and they had decent roots, then I wouldn't stake them. As what I've observed from planting the hazelnut trees is that a bit of movement. Um, appears to correlate with strong roots.
So next up, I'm going to give them a good watering. I'm going to clear back about a metre around the trees and then put down some wood chip and keep the wood chip about three or four inches from the, from the tree bark to prevent any rot. All right, let's go and get some water. I now have wood chip piles around the farm, some up by the doghouse and some in the fields. So there you go. So the more astute among you may have noticed that I planted it underneath a telephone line. And rowan trees can get quite tall. Um, but I like the line that it creates on the entrance. And I'm hoping by the time that they get up around the trees, um, we'll have dug in fiber optic cable or something in the ground. Because I'd love to see these telegraph poles removed. So until next time, good luck.